tough two losses today, falling to Santa Clara, narrowly falling to Santa Clara um, in a doubleheader. What are some thoughts after today? Yeah, very uh, tight games, 2-1 and 2 nothing today, 5 nothing on Thursday. Um, obviously, the results didn't go the way we'd want them, but um, as I told the team, all the controllable things that we could do, we did. We, uh, we had energy in the dugout. We worked really hard. Um, I, I don't think there'll be too many teams to hold them to – two runs a game on game two and three of a series and nine overall three games. So, um, you know, it's it's not the results we wanted, like I said, but uh, there is hope for the rest of the season in the sense of we know we can pitch, and if you can pitch, that's where the game usually starts and stops. So we'll be in all these games, and hopefully this will be the worst of an offensive weekend we can have as far as uh, production of runs. So we'll see where that takes us. Despite the losses, offensively was a little bit more, you know, clicking a little bit more, when it, from Thursday's game, what did you see in the batters today um, to get a little bit more production throughout the uh, throughout the series? Yeah, I mean we tallied up more hits, um, a lot of singles. We we did have some traffic on the bases, but um, game one of the doubleheader we got hurt with some uh, pickoffs on the bases in big spots. So we're trying to create, and then um, we, you know the plan was good today. We had guys on. It's just you know, to, even game two today. It's just separated by them moving a runner over and. And knocking them in and us having those same exact situations and not scoring the guys when you have second and third one out and first and third one out and things like that. So um, I don't know exactly what it was, but um, you know, I have a very veteran team. They're the defending champions. They, they've they been through these battles a hundred times and we're relatively, it's no excuse, but we're relatively new. We got pretty much an entire new roster of, and even our returners didn't play in these situations last year. So um, I could take some positives out of the uh, the plan of attack there on offense. Lance was rolling in that first game, six and a third, career high nine strikeouts. You pulled him after one out in the sixth um, to put uh, Gabe in. Seems like a great, you know, idea. In hindsight, you know, with Gabe giving up that one run, um, would you th- maybe left Lance in a little bit more? Uh, I mean, Lance was. It's uh, with this series being a day short and all that. Um, we knew we were a little short with everybody coming out of the pen, even though he was on a full week. But he was at that pitch count. Uh, you got to remember, he's coming off a year and a half long injury. So um, I thought we got everything we could out of him. I, he was dominant. He, you know, he probably could have gone a little more, but uh, Gabe has been lights out for us all year long. And um, if we're going to lose, we're going to go down with our best combos, fresh guys. Um, the kid who was coming up next had homered earlier in the game off Lance, so that was the um, reasoning there. And he got him. You know, it was one out, nobody on. We pulled Lance to get the lefty. Gabe one pitch gets a ground ball to short, so we're two outs, nobody on. Immediately had two strikes on the next guy. Unfortunately, it went hit by pitch, kind of roll over ground ball single, and then a uh, you know a really tight, tough two strike check swing. We didn't go our way, and we weren't tough enough to battle through. The kid got a hit. You know, sometimes they get a hit. <laughs> And no, I have zero regrets about bringing Gabe Barrett in, and we'll do it again uh, the next opportunity we can. In game two, uh, Joe had a good outing, another good outing with six six innings. Gave up those two early runs, but settled down. What did you see from him? And then obviously Colby on the back end uh, pitched three shutout innings. What did you see from both of them? Yeah, these are our guys. You know, these are our six, seven guys that we've formed over the first six weeks that we think can go attack really good lineups. And I think they proved it today. That's a really good lineup, veteran lineup, been through the battles. And um, so Brian just kept keeping them off balance, swinging through a lot of changeups, getting ground balls. And I mean, the runs he gave up are pretty much sometimes ground balls find holes. And um, there's not much you could do about it. It's hard to be perfect. Um, but, uh, yeah, Colby, uh, Kalia, Barrett, Sobro, Lance. We, that's why we were confident coming into today that be uh, in the fight. And when you give up four total runs in 18 innings, it's a, it's a great day of pitching. The team left 23 guys on base throughout two games today. Uh, obviously picked up 11 hits in the second game. But, you know, what will it take to get that one hit to start driving in some runs? That's the golden <laughs> – it's a million-dollar question. Uh I don't know. I think uh, sometimes you get into these series like this and you know, the, the biggest step for a program that hasn't been there in a while is to start believing you're as good as the teams you're facing and you're supposed to win these games. And that's the hump we got to get over right now in the batter's box. Um, it can really pile up on you when you're facing good pitching um, and they're they're pinpoint, they're accurate. You start doubting everything you, as far as the work you've put in. So I think we pressed a little bit, and we just kept trying to force the issue instead of passing the baton to the next guy. Even though we were getting those base runners, we couldn't get the, 
the breakthrough hit, the crack that would maybe break the rock open. But you just got to keep plugging away, and that's kind of what I told him. Just keep trusting the process. It's going to break through. If you panic now, we're going to you know, give away a lot of weeks of hard work and effort. Uh, team's back on the road for five straight. Uh, coming up next week at Sac State uh, before heading to Pepperdine for a three-game set. Uh, what are some things you could take from this weekend and, and you know, use moving forward? I mean, for pitch like that, I, I like our chances every day, every weekend, no matter where we are. Um, the road's been fun this year. I know uh, we've had some solid wins on the road. It's it's an awesome um, time when you're just you and the team in kind of enemy territory. So we're excited. I think Easter, you know, the day off tomorrow comes at a really opportune time for us and then a night game on Monday night. And what our pitchers did this weekend was enable us to have a lot of guys ready to go. Monday, and that's our next winnable opportunity. So we don't look too far ahead, but uh, maybe to change the scenery will be good. We've been home for a long time now, and uh, maybe it's good to get out there and just kind of have you against them and nothing else distracting you.